I had this really downer moment and got really sad for some reason. I heard a song today and it was about a little boy that colored a picture at school. The teacher asked something about daddy and he said, do you have, there's not a whiskey colored crayon? And it just really spoke to me. How many of us have chosen alcohol over our own children, our own grandchildren? I remember one time Colton filled out this, what's your favorite thing, about, what's mommy's favorite thing for a Mother's Day thing. And that year he wrote wine and I was mortified. That should have been my wake up call, honestly. And I'm sitting here thinking, did he, or, you know, if they would have drawn a picture, it would have probably had a picture of mommy holding a glass of wine. And it just kills me. How many times did I let alcohol, how many times have you let alcohol destroy your relationship with your children? What do your children think of you when you're holding a bottle, a glass, taking shots, acting a fool? I don't know. Is there a wine colored crayon? Well, that would be red. It just really made me so sad. All of the parents and grandparents that are choosing to disconnect their lives from the most amazing creatures that we create. I mean, we want to be the best for ourselves and it takes letting go of something that's holding on to us so Alcohol has so much power over us, and it's so sad. You don't want to wake up one morning and be like, it's too late. Because what if your kids decide to stop talking to you? What if, you know, you end up dying because of alcoholism, or you decided to get in the car and drive and kill somebody? I mean, all the things that alcohol takes away from you, why let it be your relationship with your child? Why not let it why not build those relationships with your children and realize that we're here forever i want to be the best parent that i can to my kids because i know that they look up to me i want them to constantly come to me for reassurance help them with decisions i don't want them to come to me and be like, well mommy's drunk or later in life be like, well it's just mom it's just my mom that's the worst thing ever. I, I mean, have you ever looked at somebody and been, oh, it's just them. It's not a big deal. It's how they act. It's fine. We can justify it all we want, all that we want. We can justify how we behave, how we act. And it's still, we're still ridiculous when we decide to choose alcohol over our family, ourself, and let it destroy our whole entire life. Are you just gonna sit around, waste, waste your time thinking of that next drink or just be drunk all day long because that's all you know how to do. It's, it's a really sad thing. I was thinking through this song, I literally was, I teared up because it was so sad. This little boy had this house and drew a picture of his mom with a Sunday dress on, smiling, a dog, his sister, and daddy was missing. In my situation, it would probably be mommy was missing, unfortunately, so I'm not laughing at it, but it would have been me holding a glass of wine. But it took that little boy drawing a picture of that to make his dad quit drinking. At the end of the song, apparently the dad stands up and says he's been seven years sober because of what his son drew. Imagine the impact that we have on them if that made an impact on you. Imagine that they're looking up to us. It doesn't matter what age we are, what age they are. We, kids look up to parents, that we're supposed to be able to go to our parents whenever we need, no matter what age we are. And if alcohol gets in the way of that, what type of parent does that leave us being? Have you ever looked down at your kid and been eh, this wine's better or you're causing me to drink? I mean, I was there. I literally have a tumbler 
that says something about drinking because of chaos or in its mom life. And because that's all that we're brainwashed into doing is drinking, 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 drinking. And it's so sad. The day that Jonathan, my husband, quit drinking is the day that Emma said something to him about, hey, daddy, isn't that killing you? And it's so true. Our kids, they get the brunt of it. We are just here for, here for a good time and not realizing the repercussions that this is going to cause us or our children. I mean, your children can grow up hating you. They can hate alcohol because you're an alcoholic or they can be an alcoholic because you're an alcoholic. We, they follow in our footsteps. Either they hate the way we were and they're gonna do the complete opposite or they're gonna follow directly in our footsteps and be exactly how we are. Wouldn't you want to create a generation of children that don't drink? Wouldn't you want them to look up to somebody that is a sober role model, not a wasted drunk? Or, you know, how many times have we just, well, is there gonna be alcohol there? Should we bring alcohol? Do we hide the alcohol? Do we? I, so many times my brain just went straight to alcohol. Is, should I drink some shots, take some shots before I go so I can ease my social anxiety? And then, but what if we're in a situation where one of us has to drive and that's not gonna be me? I, I knew for a fact that that was not gonna be me. Hands down, my husband always had to be the D, whether it be, I don't know, wherever we were. But I can go on so many stories about what, how I acted around my children. And, but that was then, this is now. I am here, I am sober. They now, you make such an impact on your child and people around you that now they are, they say, well, I'm not gonna drink, mommy and daddy don't drink. Or they get upset at the thought of us drinking. I mean, that goes for everybody in their life. They, they understand what is going on, who's putting alcohol above them, and who drinks and who doesn't. Mommy doesn't drink, daddy doesn't drink. I know that's not beer, but you know, they're old enough to realize. So I know that I've connected with a lot of you that have children, and I know some of you are probably gonna say, well, this video doesn't pertain to me, but maybe you have nieces and nephews. Maybe you have other people that look up to you. And have you ever thought about what impact you have on them? Is Uncle Stan just a wasted loser? Is Aunt Jan just the one that dances on the tables and she just always has to have a bottle of something in her hand? You know, it, it goes always. It goes parents and grandparents and uncles and aunts. I mean, to be fully involved in a child's life and if that child looks up to you in any way, our behavior is what they see. So are you letting, you know, alcohol destroy growing with these children? Are you choosing to be involved with them and or when you're around children do you just ignore them and decide that drinking is more important and that's all you're gonna do you are the disneyland person in their life you just you know buy them things and never show up that's where the song really killed me is too many times the kids people do not realize that kids are affected by the alcohol yes maybe they're not drinking it but they're gonna grow up and drink it your absence from their life is affecting them and what if something bad happened to them and because nobody has promised any amount of time on this earth so it kills me when people say well this person's getting old and blah 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 no I could drink myself and die. Drink myself and die, and so what impact does that have on my child? You being here is more important to a child than a bottle of alcohol. The song put me in just this really bad mindset that I was the absent one. I was the one, a wine-colored crayon. I let too many time, too much time go by without being the parent I should have been 
Luckily, my kids are young enough to, I can still make up for all that time. But at the same time, I have to live with how I acted and what I did. But they're safe, they're healthy, they love me, and I, they are my whole entire world. So just think about that. Are you that vodka colored crayon? Are you that whiskey colored crayon? Are you that wine colored crayon? Does something else have a hold on you? Let it go. Do it for yourself. Do it for the child, the children in your life. If you're a parent and you're struggling, just realize the impact that you are having on those kids' life. Sober is what they need. They need a parent that can fully be there, committed to their life and not have to worry about, is mommy drunk? Is daddy drunk? You know, are you a mean drunk? Are you a happy drunk? Are you a sad drunk? What kind of drunk are you? I don't know. But please let me know how alcohol has affected your relationship with your children, if they're grown or if they're little. It doesn't matter. It still affects all of us, no matter what age they are. Better to quit when they're younger and spend all the time you can with them because they grow up so fast. And before you know it, everything's going to be changed. They're not going to want anything to do with you, maybe, depending on how involved you are in their life. I know that my kids are one of the biggest reasons that I have stayed sober. And I love that they look up to me and can see a sober mom now, not a stumbling, acting a fool mom. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there. If you're watching this video, you know that one time you've at least acted a fool. Nobody's perfect when they're drunk, but please think about what you're doing. Are you wasting all this time? Do you feel like you're wasting time? Do you not know where to start? Do you look down and just drink because you don't know what to do with your life or your time or you don't know how you just want to mask all these emotions and feelings? You don't know how to cope. What is your driving factor to alcohol? And maybe once you find that driving factor and find something that will keep you away from it, maybe that will help you define your why to quitting, your desire to quitting, because it's definitely up to you to quit alcohol. But think about all, this, all the possibilities you have in life being sober and how much more involved in people's lives you can be, the ones that matter the most. They are my why is my children and I hope that they never, <laughs> which they might. But you know what? They know that we don't drink. They have no desire and they're still young and impressionable. So as long as I can stay away from alcohol, I know that I have a higher chance of them not following in my footsteps. So think about your why and what is your driving factor that's keeping you drinking. If you need help, and are struggling, please subscribe to my channel so we can help each other and help many more.